No one says your baby's gonna die. But we knew. There was a chance that he would not make it. Um, I, I knew that, but I wouldn't listen to it. I was always saying no, he was gonna live. Well, now Jimmy did the fetal echo. And he said, I'm gonna get the doctor on the way back. And then Dr. Alcademus came in. She pulled up a chair and she started telling me how bad it was. For Tuck, he had an open heart surgery at five days, which was actually on his due date. We handed him over around seven in the morning and the surgeon came to see us at about five that night. It was a very, very, very long day. His pulmonary arteries were, were narrowing. He had stenosis. They weren't growing at the same rate that the rest of him was growing. So when he was three months, um, we needed to go in for a cath. And we were told it was a very everyday procedure. We would do the cath, we would stay in the hospital overnight, and we would go home, and he'd have better blood flow and all would be great. All of a sudden they came in and took us to a conference room because they said his heart stopped. And I remember like that voice screaming in my head, no, 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 no. And they said, we're gonna, we have to open him up again. And that they were, he was in recovery. They had, they had restarted his heart. Um, they'd had to shock him. So on the second surgery, they needed to um, reconstruct his left pulmonary artery, which they did. And then they had to put a patch and rebuild his RVOT, his right ventricle outflow tract. That is the site on his RVOT where he currently has an aneurysm. That patch has ballooned out. So far, he's had his chest wide open for a full week of his life. I think it was four days the first time, or maybe five days the first time, and two days the second time. The AHA has been playing a crucial role in the life of patients like Tucker. Through the support of research, we were able to improve surgical techniques. If you look at Tucker, he looks like as good as any healthy child you see around and has lots of energy like anybody else. But he has a very tough start. Uh, we know in the future he's going to need more surgeries, but hopefully now that he's older and stronger, he will have less complications and much faster recovery. Um, you know, Tuck's story is happy. There are a lot of stories that are not happy that don't end happily. But we are hoping that one day there will be a valve that can be replaced without having to open his chest. They can just completely be done with the calf and they'll be able to change out his pulmonary valve. There's currently the melody valve, but he's too small for that. I'm gonna say it's very heartbreaking to see your child with his chest cracked open, and we we're hoping that we'd never have to do that again. I mean, that was extremely difficult. You know, time is the best thing we can hope for, honestly. The life he lives right now is the best life that he can live. So I'm kind of glad that, you know, like, uh, he's not your perfect athlete kid that wants to play basketball and is heartbroken because he can't. He could probably almost care less about that stuff. No. He just wants to hunt, fish, and, you know, things that he can do. When he started shooting his bow about a year ago, it was a hand-me-down. It was his oldest brother's bow. And my dad has an archery range in his basement where they practice. And so he's very good at it. And then he wanted his own, so Santa brought him his own. And so he and Grandpa shoot several times a week down in the basement. It's just important to, to just live each day. Somewhere along the way, I realized he's not guaranteed any more or any less days than I am because there's no guarantees. And this is it. So just make today the best. And we try to have fun. Not every day is great. I mean, come on. <laughs> there are three boys in our house. <laughs> but, um, but it's good. And when I know when he goes to bed at night, he's had it. He's, he has a good life. Mm -hmm. And that's, that's all that really matters, I guess. I think Tucker is a hero. He's a survivor. And most people 
do not know that kids can have heart disease because they think it's something only adults can have, but it can be something very serious. But here, Tucker is a big success story from somebody that without surgery wouldn't have made it beyond the age of a day or two, and now he's looking as healthy as any child his age.